Look at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. Look a little closer. Oh, it's an export India Porter from Suffolk Farmhouse Brewery, The Little Earth Project. Welcome to Pint Sized. Welcome along. Now, East Anglia, all right, East Anglia, nice bum, has been brewing up some really exciting breweries over the past few years, from Duration to Little Earth Project. And we've got the latter on the show today. Situated in the picturesque Suffolk countryside, the Little Earth Project specializes in brewing historic farmhouse and wild beers using wild and organically farmed ingredients all from the local landscape. The brewery is small but unique and uses a variety of sustainable practices, local ingredients and wonderful materials to produce its fantastic beer. Tom has been at the helm of the brewery since 2016, but he brewed for around seven years before that and they're just an old school sustainable brewery. This lovely little bottle is the 6.4% Export India Porter. This one has pale, brown and black malts with Fuggles hops and it's been aged in oak casks for five months. I've picked up another bottle of these which I'll be aging for a while. The best before date on the back is 2027. But I couldn't resist in the meantime to crack this one open. It's already had a good old half a year in an oak cask. So let's crack it open and see what it's like. So here we are, the Little Earth Project Export India Porter. Lovely little world map uh, kind of etched onto a barrel on the label on the front. A uh, nice little blurb about this style of beer, uh, address on the back, Little Earth Project in Edwardstone in Sudbury. Oh yeah, pick this one up at Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds. Uh, we were there for the Green King Brewery tour, which uh, we had a really special behind the scenes look with the head brewer, and that's gonna be heading over on Instagram very soon, but you can't go to Bury and not go to Beautiful Beers. It's probably one of the best beer shops in the county. Uh, yeah, so pick this one up and let's get it in a glass. And see what it can do. It doesn't explode. Oh, we got bit. Oh, we got. Oh, we got bits. There we go. In the glass. Little Earth Projects. Export India Port. Six point. Fudging hell. That smells like vinegar. Nice dark colour to it. Woody brown. The light's catching it through the bottom of the glass, giving it a nice kind of bronzy, dark amber look. Uh, slightly off white head sticking around. Oh, that's a nice head actually. Nice, uh, nice bit of lacing on the glass. Nice small bubbles. Uh, yeah, not much though, maybe half a finger of head. Yeah, let's give it a smell. Whoa, fudge. Oh my God, got balsamic vinegar, <laughs> red, red wine. Mmm, oh yeah. Plums and black currants. Oh, it smells like Christmas, Christmas vinegar. Mm-mm. So that smells a lot like the Wild Beer Company's Iced Modus, uh, which we had for their special birthday. I think I've just got drunk off the smell. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh wow, holy Christ. Oh, goodness me. Oh, it's making my inga, inga, it's making my inga tingle. Wow, woozers. Mm. Oh, okay, Christ. <coughs> oh, okay, so that is funky, that is acidic. Nice sourness on it. God, that, oh, that aroma is something else. That is making me tingle. Mm. That is like no other beer I've ever had, except for the ice modus, which was a trial. Mm. Oh, there's sour plums. There's no sweetness, yeah. Acidic, a little bit of wood, a little bit of tannin from the oak, but not too much. It's not too kind of drying out or anything. Wow, that's marmite, that is. Ah, gee whiz. What a, what a crazy, crazy, crazy special beer. Need a rest. Wow, that has blown me away, that beer. What a stunner. Love getting beers like this on the show. That's all for this episode of Pint Size. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Little Earth Beer for producing that dynamite delight. And remember to head over to instagram.com forward slash pint sized pics uh, for our Instagram story all about Green King, which is going to go live later this week. Oh. <coughs> that just leads me to say subscribe if you like what you saw and give us a share. We're about 10 subscribers away from 4,000, which is pretty awesome news. So that's all. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all again. Very soon.